Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers were able to transport themselves to the depths to try to find new passageways to other sections of the depths where they're hoping to go. They were unable to find any, so they ended up transporting themselves to the shrine of the unknown goddess. And that is where everyone is right now. Uh, for this session right now, Farron is not here. I mean, Seb Sebastian is not here, and Zach is currently not here. Uh, so, everyone is just about to leave the cave of the unknown goddess. And er from the last session, everyone's planning on going to the depths. Following a direction that Farron and Ryan have in their mind oh, yeah. since they were in the cave. Uh, so, what would everyone like to do right now? You're just about to leave the cave. I think we should um, pickpocket Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop us. <laughs> I could totally just play Lazarus again. I think I did a great job last time. <laughs> I think he's just picking up all those feathers from the crows that we had summoned <laughs> needlessly, and he's like, yo, adding this to my collection. And he just, like, starts putting them in his bag one at a time. Yeah, well, I don't know why he collects dead body parts. It's kind of creepy. It's a feather. He's also got, like, a wolf paw hanging around his neck and shit. He's a hunter. He kills things. You don't like... usually wear dead animal parts or as ornamentation. I mean, have you watched any fantasy movie where there's a dude who lives his entire yeah, life hunting animals? Yeah, there's specific that I want to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say depending on the age, you generally did wear... Oh, what also, who's that? <laughs> 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 yeah. Also, we have a guest star for the next few episodes. He's our friend named Drew. Howdy there. <laughs> yep, that's my. It's <laughs> <laughs> better than Justin's. <laughs> the kids was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I backflip. <laughs> that's all he did. Natural twenty. <laughs> Fuck you, fucking rogue. I just want to leave. Okay, yeah. so um, <laughs> yeah, so you guys already like. Look through the cave, or... No. We just want to go. <laughs> no. Lead on, Ryan. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, we'll just go. And, uh, Rumen is not with you guys. Uh... I hate that guy, anyway. <laughs> Long lost twin. <laughs> it's creepy, man. <laughs> Uncanny Valley. So, when you guys were back at the wizard, you guys were going to be transported, and Rumen didn't feel like, didn't want to go way... All the way on the opposite side of the continent, so he just ended up taking care of your guys' car, horses, and driving driving back to uh, Ait. Yeah. What a stand-up fellow. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I have no reason not to like him. Like, he's a nice guy who took our cart, but... I like him. There's just, there's just something about Ruben. He touched a rune on his sword and turned giant. It was fucking dope. That was pretty cool. It was pretty dope, Yeah, man. he can't be kept alive. <laughs> I feel like we should say that about Farron. Farron is a legitimate <laughs> danger to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Legit. Dave's playing Farron when we fight people. Wild <laughs> magic. Wild <laughs> <Wow, Benji. laughs> uh, I want to turn him into a flump. Anyway. Um, is so, that an actual option? I yeah. think so. Well, I th no, you summon one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. getting sidelined again. Okay. Yeah, so you guys have left the cave and are on your way to where Ryan has a sense that the depths are. And as you're traveling through these this first mountain pass, you do see above you a sec uh, part of the mountain where it's just complete... All the grass around you, all the grass is completely black. There's no snow in this area. It looks like there was a fire or some kind of event that happened here. And Farron would recognize this is the place he was transported to, like, four months ago when we first when we were playing that. Like, in-game, like, in game, like two weeks two, A week ago. Yeah, yeah. Like yesterday. Real life, it was a long time yeah. ago. It's been one week. One week since you took this. Still got the reference both my names. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by the Burning <laughs> 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 uh, What a good band. I love that song. Um, and then, like, as you're uh, wa walking through this mountain pass, all the mountains are covered in about, like, seven inches of snow, pretty much undisturbed, except just by the tracks of deer, rabbits, coyotes, and just other animals like that. I'm going to smoke my bubble pipe. Roll, dude. And pull out my gun. 
can I? So, so has Farron explained all the mumbo jumbo? Yeah. Some of it. Some of it, yeah. Most of it. I don't think he told you exactly what happened when he was transported here. Okay. And do we so. do we know that this area is like connected to him somehow? Or do we well, just yeah, he come told across us. this blacking, charred, snowless chunk of land and we don't know what's going on? He told you that he was transported near here. I think that's all. Well, I can I do an insight check and see if I can figure out why there's a random yeah, sure. lack of snow. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I take that back. I question that's nothing. a 12 still. 12? Uh, you're not sure exactly why. Uh, Farron did say that he was transported somewhere near these, this cave, so you think that might be something, or it might just be some random other event that happened. All right. Like maybe a deer exploded. <laughs> or a, a dragon killed um, a furball. No, that was a black dragon. They spew acid. Fucking figure your shit out, Duncan. <laughs> honestly. You can figure it out there, bud. Dude, how embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys continue traveling and following your wait, years. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Yeah. You guys don't question this giant black and charred pit of nothingness at all? Uh, what's Blaze's voice? Let me figure this shit out. <laughs> mm. Um, we walked through a ghost town and saw six different things. I no longer question anything. Oh my god. Uh, anything we see, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just kind of <laughs> go with the flow. Could have been a squirrel bombing for all we know. A squirrel bombing. Flying squirrel <laughs> dropping bombs, you never know. Mm, what's a bomb? <laughs> oh fuck you! Come yeah, on. can can you actually <laughs> roll in and help them save your face? The basis of my comedy guys. <laughs> <laughs> actually bullying from where. In I'm case going. you don't know, Clayton likes to meta game a lot. It's not meta game. <laughs> Intelligence eighteen. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, back off. <laughs> All right, I <Everyone> back off. <laughs> Uh, it is certain to get to night because you guys have been traveling a long time because I don't think you took a rest between since you were at the wizard's place. So it's certain to get dark and we have tents. Um, and it's starting to get more cold out and stuff like that. Are you guys gonna take a rest or are you um, gonna continue traveling? Can on? we sleep or are there monsters nearby? You don't see anything around, and since you've <laughs> since you noticed that there aren't any other tracks or anything besides just deer or coyotes or anything like that you think you would probably be safe here awesome you're not safe <laughs> uh, i'm gonna stop and i'm just gonna start putting up a tent okay you have a tent. <laughs> not even gonna tell anyone what i'm just doing i'm just gonna stop and since when do you have a tent i bought tents because i'm the only one who actually buys shit we need <laughs> i have a leather cloak i have cool. fucking health potions i have a freaking uh tent i have a bunch of like survival gear, I have water skins, I have rope, I have rations. Okay, you can stop flexing, alright. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> Keep up, man. I'm playing D&D for like two years. So, you guys are able to put a tent up, eat, drink, and just relax for the night, get your energy back. I don't share my rations. And in the morning, you wake up with it still being dark. The sun still hasn't come over the mountains, just because they're high mountains and yeah. it takes a while. But you're able to continue going. No monsters or animals really disturbed you guys during the night. They mostly stayed away. And can you roll a d8 for me, Tony? Mm. Or your languages? <laughs> Is it every night? It changes every day. I thought it was just once. No. Maybe you'll what? know Elvish again. Maybe I will. What's this? Uh, Do you have like... A okay, so when we went and visited the cursed town, um, I got yeah. this like curse on me that every night I have to roll and I learn a new language. So I forgot Elvish last time and I knew Gnomish. <laughs> and so people were... And these guys were fucking metagaming if I ever <laughs> saw it. They're like, where's the literacy? And it was obviously in Elvish. And I was like, oh, uh, he just says this. And I was like lying because I was embarrassed about it. <laughs> it was an important letter. We asked you what it said. <laughs> You and guys you were couldn't read it. You up. were playing it up. You were playing it up. Anyway, fuck you. I'm rolling. That's a six. six. If it's gnomish again, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw. You know goblin. <laughs> Goblin's kind of cool. So you, you forgot how to speak elvish. Yeah, now I forgot how to speak. Oh, elvish. actually, no, because number one is common. So uh, you know halfling. Oh, dude, I think I also speak halfling, bro. 
bro, 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 bro. <laughs> is it something that you know about, or is it just... Yeah, yeah, I... Well, yeah. well, last time I, I woke up and I felt weird, and then I figured it out after, like, picking up a book. Uh, okay. So this time, I guess I probably would figure it out. Yeah, yeah you, you, un- you kind of understand what's going on. God, I hate life. <laughs> you, ju- you, you just people? don't know exactly what language you Ghost know that they yeah, yeah, until immediately I until you start writing just and from kind of figure out that you're writing and happening when you roll like different right. things happen. It would be oh, fun to speak a language language and not know what the language is called. <laughs> <laughs> what language is this? <laughs> At least it's just reading. Like, what if you couldn't speak? I mean, he can't speak Elvis anymore. Yeah, that's rough. That sucks. Yeah, and we don't know about this. No, no. I, I for say, some reason this has to be a secret. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> whatever. So you guys continue on traveling, and the sense that's in your mind is getting more and more and more intense, and it's starting to feel like this is exactly where you need to go. And similar to the few other times you've felt this way in terms of your life events in the last, like, 20, 20 years, I think? Yep. And you know exactly where you're heading to. And eventually you make your way to the top of a mountain. And as you get there, you, just, you notice that it's kind of similar to the place that Farron was at before. And this top is completely black. And there are a few trees around. These trees are completely black as well. And no light seems to be actually entering from above them. What is Creepy. it, like a clearing, like, over here? Yeah, it's kind of a clearing on top of the mountain, trees surrounding it, and... Uh, and there's still no light? Yeah, there's no, there's very little light, if any, coming in. And eventually you find yourself at a... At pretty much the exact center of all of these trees, <laughs> and you see there's a large hole about... Uh, six feet in diameter, and as you look down, you can't actually see anything about where it goes. It just is peer back. Okay, well, I have uh, dark vision, so... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I see if it's the entrance of the depths? Can I drop a rock and you see how it long is. it hits? Oh, sure. I, don't, I don't even need to roll, I guess. No. Okay, I jump in. Okay, uh, you were gonna <laughs> throw a rock <laughs> down <laughs> first, so... Yeah. I jump after the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll race it. Don't worry. Six, six. Yeah. <laughs> so you throw this rock down, and after a few seconds, you hear a plop. And I, then, I didn't wait. I and then he right jumps in, in right after, and like a, barely a second after that, you hear a splash. And can you roll an insight check to see if you can kind of gauge how insight far it is? Oh, yes! You're fucking uh, like a video game. You're <laughs> fucking ready, man. I'm just gonna respond. It's fine. Yeah. 25. Oh, good for you. You prefer it's around 60 feet deep. Oh, well, that's And that it, it lands in water. Okay. I'm fine! It's Are you sad. fine? <laughs> Are you fine? <laughs> <laughs> No, really? <laughs> I'm quite fine. There's a bunch of water down here. You can jump in and join if you want. How it's... deep is it? Oh, well, deep yeah. enough. Deep enough. That, Do you want to go or not? I want an actual answer. It's. I didn't die. That's all you need to know. You're smaller than me. You'll be fine. What a shame. Works. <laughs> yeah. You can roll an insight check if you want. Or perception. For what? To gauge like how deep it is and your surroundings. Uh, well, when I jumped in, uh, yeah. I'll tell you number in a second. When I jumped in, like I should know, like if we can, if I can go, like stand yeah. six foot three. If I jump down, I'm not gonna hit bottom. I think yeah. it'll be fine. He's a little. Maybe stupid. you did hit bottom. You're just a little dwarf. Did I hit bottom? No. Oh, uh, and yeah, I didn't hit bottom. Okay, I'm wearing really heavy armor. I guess the rock hit <laughs> uh, rock bottom. Uh, I rolled this. <laughs> okay, uh, you believe it's probably around twenty feet deep, oh, and shit. as you look at this water, it almost seems black, and it's a bit chilly. It's it's not warm at all. It's um, just because it is deep in the earth, and in an area like above is an area where it's moderately cold. Um, it's an endless bout of water, and it's quite warm. You'll be fine. And you do feel it moving, so as though the water is coming from somewhere, and you hear the sound of waterfall. 
Okay. Um, oh, listen, God. it's quite warm. It's actually nice. You'll enjoy yourself. Just jump down here. We have to go. Are you Come on. Are you lying to me? No. Yes. <laughs> I mean, character is, but Blaze. me. What? Um, do you have that emerald from <laughs> when no. we... No, okay. I have it. Oh, I have it. Oh, oh fucking shit. hell. Okay, I jump in. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so you know. Yeah. It, it's an emerald that disperses the water yeah. all around yeah. you. It's fine. It'll be fine. I also cast, <laughs> I also I, cast light. I okay. kind of regret bringing that up. I thought of it and I was like, I don't know if I should bring this up. I forgot <clears> that I had that. So you're jumping in too? Yeah. Um. um can I hold on to you? Mm-mm. You have the cape. You have, I have a cloak. Oh, oh feather fall. Yeah, yeah, I do. But can I just like hold on to your foot, please? I, dude, if you're hopping in with that emerald, dude, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going. That sounds like a bad time. Well, I mean, we just gonna forgot about it before. So you're jumped in. Jumped uh, in? First, I cast light on okay. like my armor, I guess. Okay. I forgot if I have a shield. No. Just make sure you don't jump down with that emerald. <laughs> it might be causing some serious issues. Are you still, like, in the water? Yeah, I'm just there. I'm just <laughs> chilling. I'm can waiting. I, I'm a good can friend. I not jump and just throw the emerald in first? Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cold, bro. Are you trying to fucking kill me? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so, after chatting with uh, Ryan from below and above, you eventually see the stone just falling down, 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 and it's within... It, okay, it's not actually very close to you, so it was lucky to be probably around 20 feet away from you. Oh, so it just plummets? Yeah. Good job, you lost the and fucking plummets, emerald! And it plummets to the very bottom of the of this uh, small lake or pond. Honestly? Uh, may I please attempt to swim down and grab it? Yeah, sure. Wait. You're going to fall in the hole. No, I'm also <laughs> terrified of water. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, good job, you fucking lost it! And I'm gonna swim to shore then. Okay. Uh, so... No, Tony, it's gone, let it go. We don't need it. No, I don't want it. That item is useless, and we keep forgetting about (laughs) it. And then it just keeps ruining our lives, because we remember it in the worst parts. So honestly, thank God. Yeah. So, around you, you see that there's a ledge to the north of this pond, and then you see the water going down a waterfall to the south. And you see water coming into this pond to the northwest. Where's the waterfall? Uh, to the south of you. Okay. When you get down here, just swim south. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not swimming that way. I'm gonna go to shore. <laughs> okay. Why do you? Because you, you try to throw a rock at me. I threw the emerald into the pit. It wasn't at you. You don't know shit. Stop. You knew what I was gonna do. I knew what you were planning. You're trying to fucking sink me. What you were doing. <laughs> Um, Look at him smile. He knows. His I, I guess I'm gonna hop and hop in. Okay, I'm gonna real sneaky like grab him as we go down. <laughs> um, Lazarus will... pushes Farron in, and then Lazarus jumps in himself. I don't think Farron would fucking take that. I mean, he doesn't have a choice. I pushed him in. Okay. Also, Seb's not here to defend himself. And at this point, I think that Farron is really uh, wary about going into these depths. But being that you guys did jump in, he will reluctantly follow. Yeah. He'll cast magic. <laughs> Actually, what spells does he have? Does he have Featherfall? Did he send you a D&D Beyond thing? Or no, his actual character sheet. He has an actual character sheet? Yeah. I've never seen it once. I thought he would just, like, send me his D&D Beyond thing. <laughs> Damn it! Dude! Uh, he doesn't have Featherfall. Uh, so, the two of you, and then Lazarus and Farron, all jump down... And you see yourself in these almost black waters. Uh, as you look around, you see that there is a ledge to the north, which uh, Blaze is has clampered upon now. And you see some waterfalls and hear the sound of rushing water falling down to the south. Is it very dark? Yes, oh, just torch. very dark. Okay. I'll pull out a torch from my bag of holding and I will set it on fire. Okay. Nice to the bag. <laughs> yeah, burn bag, burn. Thank God I saved this torch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Might provide to be useful later. Uh, no, I will light the torch. Okay, I'll, I'll start waving. I'm like, hey, you made it. What's up? Don't okay. swim south. That was a joke. <laughs> That's a waterfall. You'll I'm gonna die. swim, I guess, towards Blaze. Okay. Um, I guess I just sink to the bottom because I'm wearing some great, great mithril armor. 
It's yeah. supposed to be lightless. It's not That's why you don't have It's just still super heavy. It oh. just doesn't give me disadvantage on stealth. I watch Ryan drown. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll just have you roll an athletics check. Uh oh. Cleric stats. Oh, oh. eight. Oh. Uh, you are having a lot of trouble, and the two of you, and I guess Fern and Dazzler, see that you're starting, you're no, starting to kind of go below the water a little bit. I'm, I'm going to use Water Whip! What about Lovecraft? Uh, He's also Lovecraft here. isn't with us. <laughs> he drowns. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use Water Whip to save his dumb ass. Okay. Did we persuade How far Lovecraft away is he from? to jump in the pit with us? He would do he, anything he would I tell him. Him. I he loves hate me. this. <laughs> yeah, he's such a sheep. I hate him. How far away is he? Uh, he's about 10 feet away from Oh, me. yeah, perfect. He's in range. So, yeah, uh, you have to make a deck saving throw. You're allowed to fail saving throws on purpose if you Are want. You gonna damage me? No, I don't need to damage you. And I'm just going to pull you 20 feet closer, so I'll pull you to the edge. Oh. I mean, it says you can deal damage, but I'm assuming I should be allowed to just use it yeah. like a whip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'm going to, I'm going to, like, my hand will just, like, turn into water for a minute, and I'm going to fucking whip it at you, and I'm going to wrap around your neck, and I'm going to drag you all the Why way Why my short. neck? <laughs> Oh my I'm like, come, come to daddy! I'll copy right in it. The amount of times, oh no. Yeah, I'm just gonna start dragging through the water. Like, okay. It's okay, buddy. You're gonna be fine, dude. Don't panic. Don't panic. Kick your legs out. Kick your legs out. I fucking hate really Backstroke. Backstroke. <laughs> You're able to uh, haul him up under the ledge with you. There, there, man. It's okay. I'm not a good swimmer either, to be honest. Not that bad, but also not good. I'm kind of pissed off, and I feel a little humiliated, but also I was legit drowning, so I don't <laughs> punch you. But I don't say anything either. Lazarus judges you with a Lazarus? stern stare. He judges everybody. Yeah. It's just his normal look. <laughs> he starts picking up rocks. <laughs> yeah. Druid shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was a ranger. I yes. know, he wants to be a druid. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, druid shit. And he starts collecting. Now he's making a collection of rocks, leaves, feathers. Is that real? It's canon. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh, he's God. Uh, as you look around, you see that this ledge leads to a, a kind of a tunnel or um, passageway that goes to the east. I will lead. I will look for traps. I doubt there's anything. This whole place is a trap, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you find... All around you. Can you roll a perception check, please? Uh-oh. <laughs> please change your dice. That's a two <laughs> plus five, seven. Everything is fine. Keep uh, walking. You just keep walking, and there's nothing that specifically that you notice. Uh, are you guys following them? Yeah. Hey, yeah. can you two roll perceptive checks, please? Oh, oh way to fail us out. <laughs> uh, yes. Eleven. Mm. Just three roll. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was very close to being a one. That's a twenty-two. Uh, after uh, about a minute, you start to, uh, Ryan, you start to hear noises of. Some kind of beings that are up ahead. Okay. And then, uh, Elendil? Yeah. You hear, what do you think is some, like a group of monsters of some kind. Not None that you've ever heard before, <laughs> but it sounds like a horde of something. And Blaze, in front of you, you see a horde of ten Naprito. Sounds like a type of ice Naprito. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cool and then in front of that you see a cabin. And you hear these like ter- terrible uh, noises of them. Uh, just Is that the super fat one you really ten. like? Yeah. Oh my god. And you said ten? Yeah. Dude, we can't fight those. Those things are actually pretty tough. Right. Oh, well, they are? Well, I guess they don't exist. My favorite thing about Gage is how prepared he is as a DM. <laughs> oh, 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 10? Sorry, I said I meant to say 20. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention you drowned. I'll help you look. What's it called? Are you uh, playing no, a Nepi bro? Is that, is that you, Drew? Are you the Nepi bro? <laughs> <laughs> no. That'd be fucking dope. Hello! <laughs> I'm the okay, Nepi bro. 168. Oh, I was like one page away. Oh my he god. 
So you see a horde of these. Oh, they're gross. gross. And you have just ran into them. They're like probably five feet in front of you before you notice them. Oh, they're like fat babies. Uh, can uh, I try and like <laughs> play it cool and not engage? That. Like, are they aggressive towards me? Or can I just like slowly be like, don't panic, Blaze. Don't panic. And just like walk and weave between them. Don't panic. Don't attract attention. Uh, the moment that you make enough sound that they notice, they start to like... I was saying all that in my head. <laughs> they start to Ooh. wobble towards you in kind of like a charge. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything is fine. Keep going, Blaze. <laughs> we haven't seen you yet, Blaze. And can everyone roll initiative, please? Oh, I hate this okay. Uh, I hate. Oh my god. Ryan and Aelnol, I'll allow you a round of surprise yeah. since okay. you have noticed them before. Yeah, dude. Ooh, that's, that's dope. Blaze, I will not allow you to. I didn't want one anyway. Bro. 21. <laughs> I'm about to throw. I got a six. I'm about to throw up. They got a two. I got me that twenty. Wow. Well. That's your like initiative, not plus any. I get plus zero because I have ten decks. I always roll poorly on initiative. It's been twenty minutes. Why. I need more coffee. You did get a surprise round though, so that's something. That's true. I could go for yeah. Some more coffee. Dude. Yeah, Clay. I'll bring the pot. Aren't you glad I told you to make more coffee? Listen, we're recording a podcast. Keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you roll? I rolled a four. Four. Oh, sorry, it's a uh, six. six? Yeah, yeah, thanks. I rolled a four, but it plus my two. Okay. Ryan? I know how to play. Two? two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long have we been playing Just, you know, sometimes you just fucking forget. You're like, God, what do I add to this roll? <laughs> the biggest secret is we're all just horseshit. Yeah, exactly. Am I allowed to swear Fuck on this guys, podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I'm good at this game. Jason, <laughs> okay, so what did you roll? 21. 21? Told you I'm fucking good at this game. <laughs> That's, that has nothing to do with I don't skill. fuck around, okay? What's your modifier? Look at surprise Plus rounds. Three. You guys are still pretty well going to be the first three to attack. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't get a surprise. Yeah, but you got a 22. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 21. I'll well, take the whatever. 22. <laughs> I said I got a 22. He's the guest. Oh, right. I forgot hey, to I don't know about you. But, but I'm, I'm feeling, feeling 22. 22. <laughs> More copyright. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, do you have Lazarus's character? No, it's in his bedroom. Okay. I mean, I could just block in there. I mean, if you want to go ahead, I'm not saying yes or no to it. Yeah, no. Zach does, in fact, sleep nude. <laughs> that, is, that is fact. It has been said on this the podcast. Like a teenager <laughs> boy. It is now canon. Oof. Listen, I think we can just all agree that Lazarus is not going to fight. <laughs> I actually agree. He'll probably be like, oh He's no, useless. trouble. I haven't counted my rocks yet. And he'll <laughs> this leave. Is, this, is, count his rocks. this is bad luck or something, and then he's going to... Uh, so, Elendril, I'll have you go first in the Sick. surprise round. Um, so I'm going to swing out my badass longsword. Um, the, not the family one, but the one, okay. my, my original one. Um, I'm going to two-hand that sucker, and I'm going to run up, and I'm going to, like, turn and swing around and slash... Horizontally across. Uh, okay. Do I? Does Blaze know anything about these things? Uh, you've never experienced these things. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. 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 Maybe they're just overweight uh, deep gnomes. Uh, a dirty a twenty. Color. Yeah, the definitely it's oh. epic. I can't tell. Colors. Awesome. Oh, right. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and since that's two handed, that's a D ten plus a D four. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's a three. Uh, uh, yeah. Sad. Uh, so that's uh, seven slashing damage, and then uh, one necrotic. Louder. <laughs> uh, so you swipe and slash at this one, and you just cleave it right open just across the, like, Five stomachs and has. Nice, dude. Man, I bet they got a lot of guts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes! Solid guess joke. You're already better than Justin. Right? <laughs> and it kind of just... seems to just fall down from this attack. It's still alive and, like, squirming on the ground and wobbling on the ground, but it's just still alive. I'm disgusted. How big are but... these? Medium. Oh, okay. Uh, I, when I see that picture, I Yeah, they think, look like, like they're huge. Uh, I yeah. think they're gigantic. How well yeah. cooked are they? <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Tony, yeah Tony, we got it. Right. Anyway, uh, I, I use my second attack after I like swing horizontally. Yeah. And I come across my head and I bring it down on it. Oh okay. yeah, I'm big dick swinger over here. Yes, <laughs> yes dude, fuck him up, Aaron. Now, 
<laughs> All right. Show him what that sword do. Oh. Oh, it's a nine. That's still a uh, sixteen. Yeah, that hits. Solid. Mm. Mm. Uh, so then I'm gonna roll a d10 and a d4. Oh. Uh, that is nine uh, slashing damage, and then two necrotic damage. So after your first slice, slice which opened its guts up, you slice uh, down and kind of make like an, a huge opening the opposite direction, and all of his insides just come falling out. Oh, this is gross. And a terrible like smell bad. just comes out, and... It's it almost it makes you gag. Can I smell? Yeah, you can. Okay. For the can can Reven- <laughs> Revenant smell? Yeah. All right. Assume so. oh, I don't like it. And you've killed this person. I mean, you've been drinking yeah. wine, so you clearly have sensories. That's true. Yeah. Well, he's but he's dead. dead? I think yeah, he's dead. the person is dead. Yeah. So Ryan, oh, yeah. you're next in the okay. surprise round. That was sick. That's really- so good, I didn't, baby. I didn't even do that much damage. Yeah, they're really, super weak, apparently. I really wish heat metal was a bonus action. Can you use inflict wounds like a real cleric? <laughs> <laughs> Can you go once without saying heat metal? <laughs> I love that spell. That's okay. all we it's joked about last time when you useless. weren't here. Like, Ryan uses heat metal. I've used it, I think, twice in-game. Anyway. Please cast um, inflict wounds. I'm not going to cast inflict wounds because I don't want to fucking touch them. They're disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. That's a uh, uh, 15 to hit. Yeah, you hit. Fuck yeah. Solid. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good spell. So I do... Ooh, ooh solid. Ooh, that's ooh, two sixes. 14, 17 damage, and he's glowing. And what kind of damage is this? It's radiant. Radiant? He's glowing? He's glowing. What color is he glowing? Yellow. What, what is the spell again, sir? Guiding Bolt. Yeah, so... You send this bolt of just straight radiant energy straight into the gut of this next Naprito, and the bolt goes right through it, leaving a huge hole just in his oh, entire body. Gross. And then he this he starts to glow and just falls to the ground. Dead. Before he falls, can I like lean over and look through his hole? <laughs> be like I see you. That's the next one. Or like the classic, like uh, you know, like the hole shot through and the character falls and it falls on you, but you pr- perfectly stand in that hole. <laughs> no, know? I'm not gonna ruin that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Dude. I just look through the hole. And I'm like, hey, what's up? I Shrek walked into this. It. This was a mistake. When uh, that well, it was like that uh part of that castle in the play falls. <gasps> And oh, Shrek standing. 2, yeah. Can you? No, Shrek oh, Shrek 3. Yeah. Oh, bro, wow. Did you too many Shrek. Did you just, <laughs> did you just, <laughs> just misquote Shrek, bro? I didn't quote anything. I guessed the wrong title. Can, can, you, you, please, can you please cut that from the audio <laughs> in fear of being embarrassed? <laughs> You're embarrassing the entire group okay. playing right now. Tony, you embarrass us every day. Secretly, Gage cuts all of Clayton's audio anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm an important character. <laughs> You were a rudder kitten or an abyssal rich. Yeah, and I sacrificed my throat to make that voice for you. For like None of us months. asked you so to do good. that. None of us wanted you to do that. Do it again. No. Throw back. You de- next time I play gelato. <coughs> Is that gelato's canon voice? You basically. <laughs> basically. Here's my pen. So Farina is going to cast Rhea Frost at the next one of these guys. Yeah, he, he rolled would. a higher initiative than me. Oh, well, right, this surprise, surprise round. Yeah. Surprise round. He hits, and it is uh, 2d8. Yeah. Ray of Frost is a cantrip? Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking dope. Oh my god. Once you get high enough levels, like, cantrips deal with good damage. Too bad he didn't cast normal magic. Yeah, no kidding. But that'd be kind of unfair. So he sends this ray of uh, icy cold energy at this next one, hits it straight in the face, and... The Naprito kind of just goes motionless and, like, freezes for a few seconds before it just falls down. And uh, his head kind of shatters a little bit. Oh, gross. Just a little bit? Just a little bit of a shatter. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Okay, three down, seven to go. Hell yeah. And then I'll say that uh, Lazarus would probably just use his bow. Or would he be, like, in close combat, do you think? No one really knows what he does. He uses longbow. I've longbow. never seen him attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably just his longbow. He'd probably stay back. 
So he hits this next one as well. Uh, longbows are D8, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so he sends an arrow at this next one, and he hits it just barely in one of its pockets of fat. And the arrow just sticks in, and you oh, see this so Napredo start to like falter a little bit, but it is still alive. Bullseye. <laughs> Why did you pick these monsters, Gage? This is they're disgusting. one of Gage's favorites I'm, because they're so disgusting. I'm legitimately yeah. nauseous right now. <laughs> so we're at the actual start of initiative. So Blaze, you're first. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, God. Feeling it. Well, I'm in the middle of this pack, right? Yeah, yeah. You just saw three of these guys just fall down all around you. That's right. My presence is so great <laughs> that they can't even. They can't stand Please it. Please ignite yourself. <laughs> oh, and like somehow figure out how to blow up. I could cast heat metal on you. Yeah, and then you'll take them all out, and you'll die a hero in our eyes. Yes. <laughs> win win. Yeah, I'm not. Before you turn to your turn, can you roll a Constitution saving throw, please? Why? Uh, this is gross. Out of your business. <laughs> gross. It's Do I? To, it's gonna try to eat you. I know it. Eleven. Just, <laughs> just, you're fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I am. Fuck off, guys. Uh, <laughs> I am just going to whip a dagger at one's face, and then at the same time whip my other dagger at the other's face. Okay. Dagger, dagger. Uh, two two unarmed unharmed ones. Whoa. Okay. Are you gonna like go like this? You're gonna go and throw yeah, them, like I'm basically gonna go like oh, and just fucking God. like I don't know who did that. Throw them so much softer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shut up, guys. So first one is eighteen. Next one's natural twenty. Yeah, Chuck's both did. Awesome. Chuck's a dagger like a javelin. <laughs> okay, so the uh, first which daggers are, th are these? Uh, it's my obsidian <laughs> and my diamond dagger. Okay, so the first one is an eighteen, and that was my obsidian dagger. So that's one d six. Uh. I would so is this the one that uh, Lazarus just hit with an arrow? No, I'm talking okay. two unharmed ones. Okay. We should re-roll that? Because um, no. it landed like right here. Okay, yeah, I have his face up. I just it thought was it was for a second. So. Two plus dex, six plus one is seven damage. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. And then the next one is my diamond, which is 1d6 plus three. It is six plus four, ten plus three, thirteen damage. Nice. Thirteen damage? Mm hmm With a dagger? Yeah, because you have my Are you my a dex? rogue? I'm a monk. So High dex. this first uh, dagger you throw is the is it obsidian? Obsidian. When you just toss it right at one that's about ten feet away from you into the left, and it goes. You you hit him straight in the leg, and he starts to kind of falter and starts to fall down a little bit. Right. He's alive, but he's definitely hurt by this. Then this next one, you throw it. You. Aimed it perfectly, and it hit it straight in the center of the forehead. Oh, nice. Or, or actually right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. Oh, these are... Uh, doesn't really have eyes, actually. <laughs> I hit him in his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is so gross. And it goes super deep into him, and he just, like, stares at you without these, with the eyes it doesn't have. Staring contest, go! <laughs> and then it just slowly leans... Backwards, <laughs> <laughs> I win. And falls to the ground, dead. I win, and then I'm gonna use my extra attack to go to the other one I hit. Okay, oh and I'm going to hit him with my cat's claws. That is a fifteen. Hits. Okay, and then I'm also gonna use my. No, I only get extra attack, so five plus four, nine damage. Uh, you're using your cat's claws. Yeah. They count as magical weapons yet? Yeah, my uh, okay. my unarmed things count as magical now. Okay. Because uh, I'm a fucking monk. <laughs> so you claw once, claw twice, and you rip open its like skin in a major way wherever you claw them, and God's blood and just like dark blackness just falls out of it, and it falls to the ground, dead. Sick. Fucking love to see it, bro. Yo, Gage, do you have Xanathar's Guide on you? Uh, no, I don't. I'm trying to see what I can do. It's... Is that the end of your turn? I think so. Let me see. Yeah, give one of us a turn, please. <laughs> no. Uh. Oh, is there anyone within melee range still? Yep. Okay, I'm going to cast a key point, and I'm going to use Flurry Blows to attack them twice. Okay. With an arm strikes. 
The one closest to you is the one that Lazarus said hit. Uh, that is 17 and 16. Yeah, both hit. Okay, perfect. So that is 8 damage and then 6 damage. So 14 damage altogether. Okay, so these are like just punches or... Yeah, just just uh, cat's claws again. Okay. Okay, so once again, you just claw straight down and just bring it to the ground with the power of your own hands. And you've killed it. I've just killed three of them, man. That's awesome. Uh, so next will be Farron. Isn't it two? No, I killed three. Yeah, yeah, the, the one, the one that got in the knee. Yeah, and then I killed yeah. him, and then I used Flurry of Blows to attack the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't use up all your shit. Fine. Uh, I still have three key points left. I'll allow it. Is okay. that with the ones you used last session? Or no, actually, never mind, because you guys had long rest. Yeah, yeah, you're all good. Okay. Uh, next is Farron. I counted he's, the two for Water Whip. Okay. He's kind of staying back because he is freaked out because he's 17 again. <sighs> and he's just going to use <laughs> Ray of Frost again. Wow, Towers. magic will do that to you. And he hits it. Is that a song too? 17 again? It's the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, What's I that, should explain this. Problem? So, Farron has wild magic, and I'd want, I completely forgot about him having wild magic for like 90% of the campaign. Like, so, eventually, I just had him roll on the magic, uh, wild magic table, and he ended up turning five years younger or something. It's like five years younger. Yeah, so yeah. now he's 17. I mean, he was just a spring chicken anyway. 20, 22. Uh, so Farron throws this icy, this icy bolt of coldness at this next one, hits it straight in the center of all, of all of its fat and stomachs, and it just freezes in place. And a moment later, it just falls down to due, due to its own weight, and just smashes to a million pieces. Nice. Uh, Elrendal, <laughs> Elrendal, bro, I'm about to slay. Um. How many are close to me right now? Uh, How many are left, actually? Actually, uh, wait. <laughs> Do I need to Good question. We've killed. We've killed. I killed three. Three before that. Maybe killed one. So we've killed seven. So those three left. Is that cannon? Uh, yeah, there are three left. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna approach the nearest one, and I'm gonna run with my <laughs> longsword. Um, and I'm gonna. Oh, also roll a Constitution saving throw, please, for me. This is gross. I'm kind of curious what this is going to be. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, like, I always thought the Ooh, paper was, like, 18. exploded, and they shot vomit yeah. everywhere, and you had to, like, make I'm going to take my longsword and run at the next one, and I'm just going to slash again horizontally across its stomach. Can okay. you do, like, the epic, like, run and then, like, slide along the ground on your knees and just, like, fucking slide? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Got really that would excited. be cool, actually. Same. It was pretty fucking dope. <laughs> Can I do that? Yeah. Okay, your character yells that slide. out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yo, slide on your knees! <laughs> do it, it's awesome! I'll do it if you do it! What's the ground, man? <laughs> the ground is just, like, rock. Yeah. Wait a second. No. Uh, oh, nice natural one, Tony. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> There's nothing you can do, Tony. It's like, you're going to Oh, my God. No, because I don't... Know. No, wait... I oh, you buffoons! I have great weapon fighting. When I roll a one or two on a oh, that's for damage. That's for damage. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, you idiot! <laughs> this is all your fault. You told me to slide. That was an attack roll. What do you want? Uh, so you attempt to run and slide to try to take out his stomach. Yeah, and you slide about half a foot, and then you're. In- Legs catch on some rocks that are in the way, and you just face plant into the oh, rocks. Oh God! It's okay. And Keep working on it. <laughs> you you are prone. Oh, so I can't even take my second attack. Well, you can use your uh, movement to uh, movement? pick yourself uh, up, and up. then yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna pick myself <laughs> up and dust off my clothes and uh, pick fucking just I don't know. Like, you have your second t- attack. You can use Oh, it. I guess that's yeah. half my movement. Yeah, yeah sorry. You yeah, yeah. uh, extra attack still. Part of the same action. Pardon? Doesn't it have to be the same action? I think if you fall prone, your turn's over. Is it? I'm, I'm pretty know. sure. I don't know. It's been a second since I played D&D. Is it on your your sheet there? No, it just says the prone creature's only movement option is to crawl, and that's it. Stands up and ends the condition. 
creature has disadvantage on attack rolls, and attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Oh, cool. No, that's fine. So All right, well, you, then I get up. Uh, I kind of act like nothing <laughs> happened. And I'm just going to swing my long sword. Lawless recovery. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is it this time, boys. I'm not rolling that die. Why are you going to make me do a backflip next? Clean. It was a suggestion. You didn't need to do it. <laughs> fuck you, dude. You listen to me. That hits. Dude, fuck that guy. Fucking do not like that guy, right? Dude, yeah. that guy, don't like him at all. Talk about uh, his face. That's good. <laughs> that's 10 slashing. That's one. Uh, one? Or, no, I'd re-roll that. Now, re-roll for my... Uh, yeah, just re-roll. Yeah. Just, necrotic just re-roll. is two. So, 12 damage all together? Yeah. I don't think this should be allowed. I have checked it, and it does only cost half your movement speed to stand up. Okay, oh, sick. Okay, cool. So, I guess... So, you stand up, dust yourself off. I'll allow it. Pretend as if nothing <laughs> happened. Maybe yeah. look around, making sure no one saw it, even though everyone saw I it. I saw it! <laughs> I definitely saw you fall and hurt your face. It was awesome. And then you just stab into this guy, and... Uh, you see... This is your necrotic damage one? Yeah. Yeah, so... You stab into this, and you stab straight in, and you see darkness just overflow throughout all of its skin and fat, and eventually you see that it's all dark and veiny, and then it looks at you and just falls down. Yeah. I like the picture, like, you stabbed the one that would, like, saw you fall, was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> like, pointed at you, and then you stabbed it. Sorry. I'm making fun of you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next is Lazarus. Or no, uh, next is the Neprito. So there are two left. One will attack. There I, I wanted to say this was just an average, like, Saturday or something, but I don't know if Saturdays are canon, so <laughs> I refrain from saying it. That was a good way to make the joke without making the joke. Thank you. Well, See, I, I don't... Is it in Skyrim? It's like Saturdass or something stupid? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> just another man <laughs> Uh, so this person is going to charge towards you and attempt to bite you. Fucking bet, dude. Don't. Tony, don't. It I was... swear to God, don't. What? Don't start using the fucking bet. Gen Z fucking. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say bet, dude. It's... So it rolled a 24. Don't get quipping edgy. Well, I guess that is. <laughs> I so it charges towards you, runs over top of its other friends that are already down. <laughs> And somehow manages to bite you right on your sword arm. Is he like clambering over them? Oh, <laughs> fucking got out of the way, other fat people. Yeah. And disgusting. you will take. Just slipping inside because it's so greasy. Really uh, you'll like just take three damage. Or, like or uh, four damage. Oh. Bro, easy money. <laughs> and then the second one is going to attack Ryan. Sure, bring it. Uh, let's see if it hits you... something to bite you. It rolled a 15. It does not hit. Okay, uh, so this one charges towards you, and you see it coming a mile away, and it start. You see it open its mouth to bite whatever it can, and you're just out of the way before it can even touch you. Uh, next will be Ryan. What really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, does mithril armor count as heavy armor? I'm not sure. I th- I think it is heavy think armor, heavy. just without the disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, oh, you're gonna beat me to it. Oh, it's in the DMG, so it's not. I can't. It'll be in the Dendro Master's guys. Uh, How many are left? Uh, just two. Just two. We have like six in this. Oh, yeah, I can multi attack. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just use Guiding Bolt again. Okay. Twenty something to hit. Yeah, it hits. Yeah. Twenty six. No. So climactic. Twenty two. There's only two left. Make this exciting. Do it. <laughs> This is my favorite part of that movie. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. Uh, so. It's not the Jedi way. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Ugh. This is embarrassing. So you throw this another bolt at this next one of just pure radiant energy. And you hit it straight on. It's a he- it's a large target. There's so much of it to hit. And <laughs> you <laughs> You hit it, and you just see this radiant energy go into it, and 
dispersed throughout its body, and it seems in extreme pain. Is this it's still alive, jiggle? though. Yes, yeah. its moves jiggle. <laughs> well, whoever kills it has advantage. That's yeah. uh, next will be Lazarus. So he'll just fire an arrow from... Oh, also, can you roll a constitution same thing, please? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. Uh, Not with that attitude. Fuck you. 18. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> so Lazarus just fires another bolt at this next one, the one that he just had. Uh, so it hits, and it goes st- straight into the exact same spot that you just fired this rained energy into. And he kills it. The air goes pretty much straight through it and comes out on the other side. Nice. And then you're a cleric, you're supposed to support, yeah. Blaze. You guys don't need supporting right now. Blaze. My turn? Yeah. Uh, there's just the one left, Yeah, just right? one, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to... Jump up on him, and like stab your daggers into like its neck, or wherever you think its neck is. I'm going to take my daggers, um, pull them, yank them out of the other heads, and I'm going to s- run, I'm going to slide on my knees, and I'm going to cut it across the stomach. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah. I hope you fucking fail, and I hope it falls on you. I really do. Okay, so that is a 10 to hit, and a 21 to hit. 21 hits. 21 hits, okay, so that's my diamond. Which is one, two, six plus three is nine damage. Okay, cool. Two so plus three is not nine. No, plus my dex. Oh, okay. Four, six plus three is nine. Okay, you just said two plus three is nine. So uh, yeah, <laughs> who in my head, bro? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna slide Math like across. Gonna, like, <laughs> yeah. jam them both of them into his stomach, and as I wrap around, I'm gonna like drag it through. And then I will use my another key point to do two more unarmed strikes. Okay. So I'll let go of the daggers as I like. I'll use them and like pull myself up, and I'm gonna punch him twice in the fucking face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. What the fuck is that? Mm. It's a four. So, so that misses. That misses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's four plus seven, so eleven misses. Whatever. Dude, you seriously gonna miss a punch, bro? You fucking. <laughs> Can you watch the toot? Um, watch the toot, bro. 13. 13? That hits. That Just hits? barely. Yeah. Congratulations. You barely hit. You barely, barely punched hit. it. Plus six damage. So. Is it dead? So you, <laughs> you take a small run and then slide on your knees and try to slash with both your daggers. Your first one, you mistimed a little bit, but the second one catches straight into his guts. And makes a large gap in all of his fat. And then you go to punch it with the one you just, with the arm that just missed with the dagger. You missed that one. And then you go and uppercut right in, uh, right into his stomach on your second one and hit him. And it knocks him all the way back onto the ground and you've killed him. I count four to say. All right, how far did your fist sink into his disgusting, fleshy body? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to wipe off any residue on, uh, on uh, Oh, also Lazarus. roll a constitution same through. I hope you fail. so greasy. I hope you fail. It is so gross. Eight? Mm. If you turn me into something else, I'll no, fucking quit. Turning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll straight up just quit. Gage, turn him into something else. Turn me into one of these. I'll fucking go to bed like Zach. <laughs> I think I won't. Zach just didn't get out of bed. Yeah, okay, uh, fair enough. You'll just take two piercing damage. Oh, oh I can live with that. That's, that's fine. How? Uh, it's Cloud of Vermin, so any any creature that starts its turn within 20 feet of it, uh, if they fail their saving throw, it just say, says they take two or 1d4 piercing damage, so it doesn't actually say what exactly happens. What's the name of the thing? Naprito. It's just Naprito. The no, no, the, oh, the cloud of vermin. The smell pierces. Oh, maybe like like no, when it sure dies, it's... like there's little, like that stuff out of its head is like actual bugs or something. Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's That's my only bugs. guess. Yeah, yeah. And you've you now see there's this pile of just ten gross, obese, so disgusting gross. looking demon Napritos. I'm gonna light them up. Yeah, I need a marker. Okay, this one doesn't work. Oh, this is gross. This is gonna burn. This is gonna be a greasy fire. <laughs> Black smoke. Yeah. And in front of where they were at, you see there's a, like a cave and there's a bunch of rubble surrounding the entire rest of the tunnel. Wow. I'm just gonna click my daggers. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm assuming they have no like loot on them. No. Nope. Shut off your phone, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Duncan. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I know, I know. I know. <laughs> 
and then, uh, <laughs> it's okay, you're the guest. Uh, I'm gonna just set fire to all the dead bodies. Okay. Yeah. I, I did yeah, that but, already. Oh, you yeah, did that? You were doing that already. Hell yeah. So, like, oh, that was good. Did we pick that up, boys? Did we pick that up? So, you attempt to burn these, but no matter where you put fire, they don't seem to ever catch. They just seem to be, like, maybe too wet with liquids that it's not actually... Flammable. This is truly disgusting. We are leaving. No <laughs> wonder they couldn't burn any cars. <laughs> and w- when you first saw all of these, they seemed to be all trying to charge into the where the cave is. Were they running away from something? No, they seem uh, to be running towards it, not away from anything specific. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, let's go check out this cave in. Yes. So this is a very, uh, very deep cave in, like. It's all from floor to bottom, side to side. It's all covered in rocks. Like of no all sizes. Is it got yeah, it, unless you would, are able to actually dig through. What if someone, I don't know who, had gust of wind <laughs> and would like <laughs> cast gonna, the spell? It's not going to pick up a bunch of rocks. But maybe we can like push it down. Or does it got to like... It, it seems to go pretty deep. Super good on rocks. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I just, dude, I just wanted rock him to use wild magic. Is super effective against flying. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I'm dude. looking at you like you're stupid. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm too busy playing Tam Tam, which is totally better than Pokemon. Can you meme less? All right. Anyway, I'm gonna look for another entrance anywhere nearby. Okay. Uh, you don't actually find any other ways through this area. Let's go for a canoe ride down the river, over the waterfall. We don't have a canoe. We can make a canoe. You have the a foldable boat. We can swim in the oh carcasses. Oh my god, that's right. Do a foldable oh, boat. That's gross, but yeah, we yeah. can do that. Or we should just get the emerald from the lake. <laughs> I'm not getting that. The thing is useless and it needs to stay gone. As you go towards this pond area, you, you do see that the water is flowing from a tunnel, but the tunnel is... It's not really tall, it's float like the water goes up to like the level of the rocks. So it's like a small gap. So of. there's like very little gap you could actually go through, and the water's flowing from I there see. towards the where the waterfall is to the south. Okay. Mm. I'll uh, whip out the, the full of a boat and like you do with like a, a rug when you're cleaning, I'll be like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll flip it up and then I'll jump in and I'll have uh, Lovecraft jump in with me. I'll be like, Okay, no more room and I'll just turn <laughs> Really? No. Okay. <laughs> but we're not all going to fit in here. There's so many of us. It's okay. There's Lazarus, Baron. Five. Plus two. Lovecraft. Plus, plus six total then. So the people who can't swim should go in there. I can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. <laughs> okay, get in, Ryan. I can cast Water Walk on all of us, though. Oh, you can? Yeah. Do that. That might be better. Yeah. Well, because are we just going to go off this down this waterfall? <laughs> like, how? We can just walk down the waterfall. Trust me, it'll definitely work. I don't think water walk makes you go 90 degrees. <laughs> There's water, I can walk on it. Here, let me... <laughs> it means you can walk Spider on those carcasses. Man. But, like, if it's, like, a, a street and there's, like, rainy puddles everywhere and you cast water walk, can you, you walk, can walk on the normal street? lava with this spell. What? Yeah, I mean, you still take heat damage, but you can walk on it. Nice. It's gotta run real fast. Yeah. High step. <laughs> <laughs> lift your knees, lift your knees. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I can cast it on up to ten willing creatures, so I can cast it on all of us for now. Uh, okay, do it. Do you say that? Do you it, tell it. us that? Sure, yeah. <laughs> and it just allows you to walk on water? Yeah. Okay. Or acid. I'm still gonna go on the boat though, because okay. I went through all the trouble of pulling it out and <laughs> folding it. Like I don't wanna like fold it up for no reason. Yeah, and it, you have to fold it like twenty different times. It's just, yeah. just a pain. It's just not cool. So uh, me and La- me and Lovecraft are gonna go in the boat. Okay. And are you going like down the waterfall? No. Okay. So like, where are you going? Well, we, we, Is there any way to go down the river with without? No. no like, there's the river is going this way. Like, there's towards... no shoreline like at the waterfall edge. No. Yeah, I guess I'm going down the waterfall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Break your boat. You're an idiot. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. <laughs> cast water walk on me. If things go wrong, I'll just jump onto the waterfall. Uh, maybe I didn't cast it on you because I saw you had a fucking boat. <laughs> so, if we can walk on water, and if we, like, jump down onto water, 
would it be just like <laughs> <Yes>. oh, <laughs> it would be like just like if you jumped on the ground right because like yeah. essentially yeah that's but I, I'd say you're able to walk on any water so I, I, I'll allow you to walk down the waterfall <laughs> yo <laughs> as I get closer how big is this uh, this, uh, this waterfall exactly uh, it we goes down <laughs> about uh, 50 feet I can live that you're and it goes into this large lake that you see. And as you look down, you see that it's probably about 100 feet wide. Or actually, no, probably like 300 feet wide. And you see this large island in the very center of the lake. All right. I go down the waterfall. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Him mm-hmm. in Lovecraft. Maybe Lovecraft will find like... Uh, 11. 11? No. Plus seven. What about Lovecraft? Thirteen. Thirteen? Can you also roll for Lovecraft, please? I have a feeling Lovecraft's not loving that craft. God damn it. <laughs> He's not even good anymore. Um, seven. Seven? <laughs> He's in the boat with me, and yeah. I'm holding on to him. Both of you have fallen out of the boat as Ooh, it I'm goes so down. <laughs> Any fall damage I take is reduced by five times my money. You're landing in water. So it won't really be much damage unless you, like, oh, belly flop into it. <laughs> holding Lovecraft and you belly flop? No, I'm holding him and I'm going down backwards and I just, like, hold him in my chest and I'm like, hold on! Uh, so both of you fall out of the boat, but you've got to hold on. You're leaning back and you just... Keep it like... Uh, I'm like, just like the chest fall. <laughs> <laughs> you're able to kind of uh, fall straight, like... Right into the water feet first, and you don't take any damage through this. I don't? No. Nope. Yeah. Keep your legs straight when you hit and the water. And then as the boat, like, lands next to us, I'll put it back in. Okay. Yeah, I'll be like, see, it was fine. <laughs> it was fine, buddy. It was awesome. Uh, Went for a quick dip. I guess I'm just gonna walk down the waterfall okay. like a badass after he, after, after he goes off in his dumb raft. So, as you walk down, you see, you're able to get a good view of this area. Nice. So you see it's a, like a pretty circular, circular 250 or 300 foot lake. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. You see a large, a pretty large island in the very center of it. Oh god. And you see... It sounds familiar. Five passages all around the lake. You see that there's a ledge on the side as well of the lake all around. Yeah. Um, you see a passage to the northeast, northwest... Southwest and southeast and then south. And south is straight out of us, right? I think we yeah. should split the party five. Uh, I'm going to turn as they're walking down the waterfall because they can't keep up with me. and Because uh, I jump down that shit. And I'll be like, uh, I'm just going to signal that I'm going to the island. So you guys know. That's so you're, you're free falling. No, I've already done. I'm already oh. back in the boat. Oh, yeah. okay. Already back in the boat, bro. <laughs> me and Lovecraft just fell all the way down that waterfall. It was awesome. And now we're going to the island. I bet you that gave Lovecraft PTSD because that's how you trained him. <laughs> At least someone finally Actually, I'm sorry. Lovecraft we bad. decided that PTSD isn't canon, you guys. Trauma's not real. So the words <laughs> "post traumatic stress disorder" are not canon. All right. for well, they're illness. all words in common. So it is whatever. very real in this I universe. Could have invented it. <laughs> I made it up on the fly. I'm smart. Anyway, Safe math. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the island. I'm gonna start lighting a fire because I'm kind of okay. wet. <laughs> Uh, so you guys slowly make your way down, and you see Blaze going towards this island, and he gets on the island, starts to light a fire, and you see the island start to move, oh and it starts God. to grow and grow, and then you see something in f- like a, p- a part in front of the island raise up. Drew, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the island, Drew? I've tuned out for a sec. I do not believe so. <laughs> and what you see is a dragon turtle. Oh my Step god. Away. Yeah, but I'm on his back. <laughs> this is like that part the turtle in Detective Pikachu his back, so I'm fine. that I'm whole the ground attack. Like, yes, yes. yes, that was sick. That was sick. Because when I saw it in the trailer, I was like, why is the ground like sideways? And then like, I saw it in the movie, I was like, whoa! It's actually Torterra. That was a cool play by Detective Pikachu. Yeah. And yeah. you feel this movement as you're lighting a fire. You feel it rising up, and you, f- you see a head rise up in front of you. And I just turned to Lovecraft and like, why did we come on these adventures? Like, we could have bounced like a week ago. I don't know why we keep doing this to ourselves, Lovecraft. This feels very like anime. Like we're all standing on the water and like this dragon <laughs> rises. <laughs> <laughs> this 
Shinsuke! <laughs> this will be our final battle. Maybe we can tame it. Mm. Tame it, Torterra. <laughs> They're very intelligent. And this is one of Blaze's favorite animals, though. So, And you didn't recognize it? You just walked on its shell? It was an island! Okay, I can't fucking see. <laughs> I thought you had dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but I wasn't looking. I just like, oh, Not island. turtle vision. Are there trees on this island? Anyway. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have thought that through. But <laughs> How would there be trees on an island in a I cave I feel bad. There's a dragon turtle, and he lives in just a 300-foot lake. Like, yeah, that feels rough. like... A t- yeah. <laughs> 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 Why did he get He has no space to do anything. <laughs> he lifted his head, and he'd be like, that's all the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> he's just vibing, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and you it. see his head lift up, and he's just wearing, like, giant Ray-Bans. Someone left him <laughs> in there as a baby, and he just grew I'm in there, and now he's just too big to leave. I'm straight, but he got flushed down the toilet by... <laughs> <laughs> this is the D and D equivalent of like a sewer alligator. Oh Straight vibing guys. Walking down that waterfall was really cool. And all of you can hear this deep voice saying, "Food, oh, hungry, feed." I start handing Lovecraft some... What do you think he's some... trying to convey to us? <laughs> I'm going to start handing Lovecraft some rations. I'll be like, eat up, big guy. We got a big baby out of us. <laughs> I completely believe I'm safe on the top of his show. Why? He probably doesn't even know I'm what there. What if a barrel roll? Well, you were lighting a fire on his back. <laughs> it's so hard. You can't feel a thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so we're going to walk away. Mm. <laughs> we're on the edge I of the do lane. believe we should run away. <laughs> Yes, I don't think we can fight a dragon turtle. Mm-hmm. You Especially, got this, Blaze. Wait, you said he was hungry, right? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yes, uh, food. Yeah. Do you like uh, nappy, bro? No. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fat. <laughs> there goes my Not old plan. Lean. I was gonna say we should just walk back there and send him down the river. Food. Like treasure. Treasure. Give. I don't think this yeah, guy's right in the head. <laughs> yeah. I have a, like, talking <laughs> funny. Dragon, uh, tur- dragon turtles aren't very intelligent. They've got 10. Oh. What language do they speak? Common. And probably Draconic. Oh, I, and draconic. I speak Draconic. If only it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> no food here, guy. Sorry. Give. Hmm. What do you want? <laughs> Treasure. Food. I'll give him... Treasure. 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 How does 50 gold pieces sound? More treasure. 55. More treasure. 76. More treasure. 100 gold pieces. <laughs> treasure. Jeez, this guy is fucking rude. This is so stupid. Um, what route should we run off to? <laughs> You guys so, are really leaving me in the Yeah, dude, I'm not... Well, he he thinks I'm like a child a 13. I'm level 6. <laughs> Please actually, don't... It's 17, actually. Please don't what? believe me. Well, you're level what, 6? Okay, no, no, no. And then Lo- Lovecraft is also 6. So you guys are basically like 12. Yeah. Perfect. Quick math. So, <laughs> let's, let's I'm give pretty sure you can one-shot, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck oh, yeah, you can. Ryan, you, you have this sense of exactly where... You okay. feel you should be going, and it's towards the southern passage. Yeah, Spider senses you. I'm gonna start going. You just gonna start See walking. you later, Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Have fun. Well, we gotta walk underneath <laughs> him, or we can try to walk around. I guess. Do you know what is even? He's right in the center. So yeah. So this is the yeah. area you're in. There's like a ledge all the way around. Yeah. So there's like Lanes a shore. Here. Yeah. There's shore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll just go to the closest point on shore. And stay out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Drew, are you sure you don't want to be the dragon turtle? Yeah. I could use a friend right now. <laughs> yeah. A trapped dragon turtle that's never going to leave this cavern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a depressed dragon turtle. This yeah. isn't like a please. It's not like a gimme. It's like, please. <laughs> okay, actually, no. Let's, let's, let's go feed him some treasure. No, it's too late. You ditched me. Uh, I'm going to turn that. You know what's even better than treasure? A good story. And I'm going to sit down. I can tell you Treasure. a long, fun, entertaining story with colorful characters. Just feed love crap. A good hook, a solid and, and, plot line, and a great climax, and a same magnifique ending. You see a claw start to come out of the water, and it starts to go towards its shell, which you are on right now. 
Can't reach that. And it starts to try to swipe and swipe and swipe, but can't quite hit you from where you are. That's at. the worst part of your back, honestly. <laughs> are you itchy? Yeah. I can scratch your back. Apparently, you can't quite reach you, and I'm just going to start clawing the shuttle, like trying to scratch it. Like, there you go, buddy. <laughs> and then you feel this dragon turtle start to actually come out of the water and start to go at an angle. So roll a dexterity saving throw to stay on. I'm going to grab, fucking, uh, left grab by the neck, and then, like, Try and grab on, I guess. I'm not using I think it's fair to say, as we see this happening, we're starting to make a little bit more haste. <laughs> we're jogging now. <laughs> I was walk- I was like, you know what, this is kind of scary, and now I'm like, ah, oh, bro, I don't want to mess with this guy. I rolled 15. 15? You're just barely clinging on with one hand. Hey, listen, listen, I can't really stay on your back when you're at this kind of an angle. Can you lower yourself back down again, please? Give what do treasure. You- what treasure do you want? Uh, you get the sense that it wants something more than gold. Um, I have, like, a sacrifice. A fist-sized ruby. Or, like, a half a fist-sized sapphire. Mm. So I do have some... I also have a sapphire skull. Oh, that's right. And you do you know that dragon turtles like to collect things, specifically, usually magic items or stuff they don't have already. Oh, okay. Uh... I'm going to ask him if he wants thoughts. 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 It's a uh, one of my. Uh, what is oh, it? Oh, brass, brass knuckles. Brass, brass knuckles. knuckles. Yeah. yeah. This is in a peculiar. And I'm saying this like I'm not pulling it out because yeah. I'm holding it on. Oh, yeah. I have a really cool uh, weapon that does it, like it messes with your head and also it does physical damage. I'll give it to you free of charge. Well, it no, says, there's a price. I have to live. <laughs> it says, give. Okay, can you put me throw. down? Throw. Okay, put me down and I'll give it to you. It goes back down. And I pull out thoughts and I run up along the back of its neck and I like, I put it Punch on top it. of his head. Okay. Shit. There. Uh, you see, do you like think the do- that you can train your dog to do where you put it on its nose oh, and it has its head up and then it like puts its head, head down and catches it in its mouth? It's a giant mouth, and it's literally a small person. Yeah. Like, I think it's lost at this point. But. It says, more. Give. It's really time place. for that jewel that you guys left behind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but then he wouldn't be in the water. Also, my mess of his intestines. So he ate the the, the thing, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that would probably kill him. Actually, yeah, well, actually I'm going to reach in. I'm going to reach in. This thing. <laughs> Let's reach, kill it. Shut up. I'm going to reach in the bag holding. I'm, I'm about to die. Can you let me focus? Please? You're fine. You're doing great. I'm going to pull out the painting of the dead mind player that I drew. I'm like, what do you like? What, what do you think of this? Masterpiece. High quality. Actually, I put it back in. I pull out the one of Ailer Dell surrounded by a murder of crows that you labeled as a masterpiece. What about this one? Ha. 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 As like a laugh. Oh, 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 I thought he was having trouble breathing. No. Ah, I, I, I jumped in on that. Dog there, man. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, More. What if I give you Stop. smoke bomb and I run? <laughs> Love I smoke bomb right on his you head and I fucking book it. Thing. I have the okay. gloves of climbing and swimming. And I'm going to use feline agility to swim 80, uh, no, 90 feet. Okay. I'm gonna you drag fucking Lovecraft with me. So I guess you should have just sacrificed Lovecraft. <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, this is literally please. my only friend. The way you guys treat me, yeah. I'm your friend. I like you. I just you're you easy told target. me specifically you don't. Uh, yeah. It's friendly razzing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it hurts me. So you're able to actually swim super fast and get away before he. Sends out scalding steam in your direction. Yeah, because like I throw the smoke bomb like right in his eye. Okay, so it oh, explodes. You attacked him. Oh my he god! He was going to kill me. I had nothing to give him. You, you were doing great. He asked for more. I can't give him anything else. <laughs> give him prayers. No, I fucking <laughs> use prayers. I'm attuned to it. You don't. You you don't use them both. You only use one. I couldn't attune to all of them because I need other shit. They're a set. And you're swimming away, you make it to land, and then you see this dragon turtle start to swim in your direction. Where are this. they? They're on the south side of the cave now. Oh, they're heading down that we south tunnel? You guys see all of this happening. Long so they are it's, going down the south tunnel. We probably would stop at the edge of yeah, the cave. It doesn't matter okay. because I'm going to, to run these, right past them. And I'm going to be like, see you guys, okay. gotta go! And I'm going to... 
So you see him swimming, and you see the scout in steam just barely, he just barely gets out of the way, and he's just swimming the fastest he's ever swam in his life with, <laughs> with uh, you just Lovecraft in his hand, and he just books it past you, and you guys probably, I'd, I'd assume you guys feel it's a good idea to go south as well and get well, out yeah. of his range. Yeah, I yeah. run right by them, and Lovecraft's like, <gasps> also running right by them. Yeah, definitely. Kay. Do you think this would be fire damage? No. Okay. Scolding? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. I didn't get hit. Uh, it would be fire damage. Yeah. Okay. And that's where we leave off on this episode oh, of a deal with demons. <laughs> <laughs>